Hello beautiful people, what is up? Hi, how's it going? I hope that the sound quality is okay. I'm trying to make sure that you guys have good sound quality, but I haven't tried it in the back of me with this mic before. So yeah, I wanted to go over what I do for skincare. Let's get started. So the first thing that I do when I'm showering is I use just the Signature Care Oil Free Acne Wash. This is like compared to the Clean and Clear Acne Wash. It's not foamy, it's just easy peasy so I've already done that on my face and then now I'm going to put my hair up and I'm actually going to do some microdermabrasion and then I'm going to go through some of my skincare options that I can use and decide from there so you'll get to like come along with me while I do this so I haven't exactly decided what I want to do today other than the microdermabrasion. First things first is my microdermabrasion thing that I got. This is the brand Rodin and Fields. So some things that I use for this. The first thing is that I clean it after each time I use. So I'll go through what that looks like for you. My aunt got me this as a birthday gift or a Christmas gift or something a couple of times ago. But it looks like this. It kind of looks like a massager, like a little roller ball, but there's these little tiny spikes. So the way that you use this, and this is a cleaning supply, so I'm going to put this away for right now. So let me get you over on an angle so that you can see the cleaner. The way that you use this is you're going to do a crisscross patch, essentially, with this thing. So you're going to go over your whole face first, going for, uh, vertically, and then you're going to go through the whole thing going horizontally. So I try to do it in sections so that I remember which parts I've already done. So I'm going to start with my forehead and you're not applying a lot of pressure but you are applying just like a tad pressure. It should feel like something and I actually go through everything a little bit twice because I, I would prefer to do a little bit less pressure and do it twice rather than do a little bit too much pressure. So then I'm going to go on this cheek and like you can go as slow or as fast or whatever as you want. There's no like hard set of that kind of thing. So what this is doing, not on to the left side, what this is doing is basically creating a small injuries on my skin in order to make my skin decide to heal better. So this is really good for acne scars. This is not such a great thing to do on your skin when you have active acne, which I still struggle with somewhat, but nowhere near as bad as I used to. Um, and the reason for that not doing it on active acne is because it can cause more damage and it can spread your acne further. The worst part for me is the nose. I always take my nose piercing out. Now the whole thing is, has been done vertically. Now we're going to go sideways. So I split my face in half. So this time I'm only going to go to the middle on the forehead. Again, I'm going over everything twice, like I said. This is not something to do on a day where you're then going to put a bunch of makeup on. Because like I said, you are injuring your skin with this thing. So you want to make sure that you're super hydrating it afterwards, all of that stuff. You're not going to want to put on a bunch of makeup after you do this. So this is something you could do at the end of the night, right before you go to bed. It's the afternoon for me, but I don't have anywhere to be because we can't go anywhere anyway, so I'm not going to put on any makeup after this. And then the only part about your nose, because you can't really crosshatch this twice, is just to make sure that you go over it again. I am trying to do it both ways. Okay. So that's the end of this, and then you have to make sure to clean it. So it comes with this tube, and I'm going to put one of the cleaning pockets. And then you put the head first 
into there. So my face has now been microderm abrasion. So I'm now gonna pull out a bunch of my stuff. I'm gonna spray my face with this first. This is for soothing your skin. So it's like a water spray. I'm gonna spray this on my face. This is a hypoallergenic thing. It definitely, you can feel it um, on my skin. So while I'm letting that soak in, let's go through kind of what I have here. So again, I wanna do only moisturizing stuff. I've already microdermabrasion my skin, so I don't wanna do any sort of exfoliant or anything right now. Um, so I might look at a mask. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm going to put on this gel mask. It is a, it's one of the ones that like dries and then you can peel it off. And so it's for refreshing and clarifying rejuvenating skin. It has cucumber and aloe, and the aloe is really what I want after putting on, after doing the microdermabrasion. And then I think I'm also, after that, going to put this collagen infusion. It is drying, so I'm gonna put this on now. So yeah, this stuff comes out like gel. And then you're gonna wanna make not too thick of a, um, there's a cat trying to get it. Not too thick of a, um, layer, but a significant layer. The thicker the layer, the harder, harder it's going to be for this thing to dry. But you don't want it too thin either because then it'll be hard to peel off. All right, now we're going to rinse the hands and let that sit for at least 10 minutes, but I'm going to wait until it dries basically and then I'll come back, take it off with you, and then we'll put on that other hydrating thing and lastly some lotion. And that is going to be it. So I'm gonna turn you off and I'll come back later. Oh, it's the done. I looked really funny. Okay, so we gotta get started here. I love how my skin feels after that mask every time. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try this Murad Rapid Collagen Infusion on my skin. I haven't tried this before. So according to it, it says massage evenly over a clean face, neck, and chest if you would like. Also have the Jade Roller. This has two of them. This is from Amazon, super easy to find. Just search Jade Roller and come with both. So you have a Jade Roller and then you have a Gua Sha. So they both kind of do the same thing. I'm gonna use the roller just because it's a little bit easier, but I'm actually then going to show you how to use the Gua Sha. So I'm just gonna roll my face with this collagen thing. This is supposed to help reduce like puffiness and like build up a fluid in the skin. And you can use this on more than your face too. I love how it feels like as a massage, both on the face. I also get like migraines and it helps with the tension in my jaw. I love it also on my shoulders. Washa looks hilarious. It looks kind of like giant tooth. Um, so you can use this part on like your jaw here, you're gonna like push into it and then you can use this to get the like smaller areas and then you can also do big sweeping with this part on the cheek. And you can do it this way too if you want, I prefer it this way, I'm gonna go like that and it just feels so good. Just like a little mini facial massage. Just to like really take, 
even if you don't believe that it's like doing anything, because there's no like FDA knowledge about like if this is doing anything good for your skin, this this specifically, but it still feels amazing in your muscles. That's going to be my skincare routine for today. Obviously, I don't do all of that every day. The microdermabrasion, I definitely don't do more than like every other week, if that often. That's like kind of dependent on your own skin and stuff too. So like make sure you do the research, ask a doctor too if you're interested of like their opinion on it. Enough time these days, I prefer to use skincare as a self-care. It really helps me relax. So I wanted to do this for you guys to kind of see what I'm doing. Again, this isn't like my normal daily routine or anything. This is like a special, like, let me really take care of my skin today. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm posting videos uh, at least once a week, if not twice a week. Definitely once a week on each channel that I have. I have a whole bookish channel and I have this channel. I also run a podcast that comes out weekly with my best friend. So all of that is linked down below as well as my regular social media as well. So I hope you guys will go subscribe and follow on all of those accounts as well. And I will see you guys very soon with a new video. Bye!